Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Sorry it's been so long, I've been on my holidays, but now I'm back and I'll be making more videos again. So let's have a look at this video. We're going to be looking at how to downgrade Windows 8 to Windows 7. Okay, now you need to make sure you read the uh, downgrade rights. Now there is some rights here that you can uh, read at your own leisure, and I will put the link in the description. I'll try and briefly go through a little bit of it. But basically what it means is if you've purchased a brand new machine with Windows 8 Pro, then you can downgrade for free with no extra cost to Windows 7 Professional. Okay. Now, if you've got Windows 8 and you still want to downgrade, then you can do that, but you will need to purchase a new version of Windows 7 okay, with a new key. Now, if you've got an old version of Windows 7 with a, a valid key, uh, you can use that but it will not activate online and you will need to call uh, Microsoft themselves to get them to give you another key and they will activate it that way. Okay, So that's basically the rights here. You can go through it at your own leisure and read all this and this will give you a much more detailed explanation of what to do and what not to do and stuff like that. Okay. Now there is a couple of things you want to be careful of here as well is make sure that your hardware is compatible for Windows 7 and if it's not then you will need to get drivers okay so that's the next step that we're going to be doing now I've just got a couple of uh, manufacturers here i.e. Dell and uh, Toshiba but it may be the case that yours is something else um, and then you will need to look at that uh, site for yourself here and you will need to get the serial number or the model number on the back here for Toshiba and that will give you all the drivers that you need if not you will need to go through and uh, locate it uh, the good old fashioned way by going through the menu system here and uh, pick which one you've got and uh, what it will do is it will give you the actual uh, drivers that way okay now if it's Dell the same thing service tag and the service tag will all be on the back of the laptop and you should see a little display on the screen there and there's a little image of it here you can see and you put that number in there and submit that and it will then uh, give you your information okay you can also click on the detect service tag for you here and this will give you all the drivers if it's Dell okay and basically what you're trying to do is get the Windows 7 drivers that's the ones you want not the Windows 8 ones okay so for instance we'll go to this location here and we'll just pick any of these okay uh, just for now uh, just to show you what I mean and then you'll go to drivers and downloads like so and then you'll see operating system and you'll want Windows 7 like so and then go through the motions here so you want uh, chipset drivers and all these drivers okay you want to download all these uh, because yours will be all for Windows 8 the most important one is your network drivers just in case it doesn't load the network drivers you can actually download those and put them onto your USB thumb drive before we wipe the system that way at least you'll be able to get back on the internet and be able to download all your drivers at your own leisure okay so I would say the network drivers are the most important and also the graphics maybe as well okay so I hope that clears that up so the next stage of what you want to do is make a backup uh, recovery drive of your Windows 8 just in case you want to go back to it and we can do that by going to control panel here and uh, once we get into control panel we want to come down to recovery like so and you'll see create a recovery drive now I've got my thumb drive already plugged in like so you can see it there and uh, what we're going to do here is create a recovery drive so click on this now this doesn't happen in Windows 7 it's a new feature inside Windows 8 so you can go through this here read all the information okay and it will say copy all the recovery partition and, and whatnot here you just go like this next and now you can see it's asking me what to select so we want to select obviously our E drive here for me I'm going to click this go next everything on the drive will be deleted and that's what it wants to do next so we're going to delete everything on that drive so make sure you've backed up everything on that drive before you uh, continue so we're going to create now and it's going to prepare that drive and format the drive for us now this is important if you want to revert back to Windows 8 at some point okay so this is the reason why I'm doing it just in case someone does want to do it 
So you just follow this process and you should have a backup of all that stuff, okay? Okay, so now we can click on finish here. And now what that's done is that's created our recovery drive to refresh or reset your PC, okay? And that's what we've done there. So let's have a look at what it looks like. So I'll just quickly open this up here. And we can now go inside here and you can see it set this all up for us. Okay. So now we've got that done, we can close this off. Now you can back up all your system if you wish, uh, if that's something you want to do, make a clone of it or whatever you want to do. I'd advise you to do that if you don't want to lose anything and you just want to make sure that that's okay. You can do a clone of the drive or you can make a backup through Windows 8 or whatever you want to do before you start. I'm not going to bother doing that. Now the next step we need to do is change the uh, boot option. Now if you if you need to change the boot option from uh, UE FI boot and you need to change that to the legacy boot option and the screen you see up there right now should explain that a little bit more you need to boot into your BIOS and change that okay to exactly what it says on that uh, BIOS there now if you if you've got a slightly different BIOS or slightly different machine it may look slightly different but you do need to look for that option okay the legacy uh, boot option and and uh, change that and that will put it back so you can boot to CD otherwise you may find yourself having difficulties now we need to uh, boot to our Windows Media uh, Windows 7 Media so we can actually format this okay and put Windows 7 on so I'm going to reboot to my uh, Windows 7 CD right now I'm going to restart okay so we're going to let this load in now this is booting to our CD Okay, so what we're going to do here next is uh, select our language. In this case, mine's English, uh, United Kingdom. Go next. And then what we want to do here is install now. I'm going to accept, accept the agreement there. Go next. And what we want to do here is go to custom and you want to select the actual drive okay that's the biggest one here you can see it's uh, gigabytes yours will be a lot bigger than this if you've got a bigger drive this is a virtual machine so I'm going to go next here and then you can see it contains files from the previous Windows installation just and then basically go through this click OK and what that's going to do is create a windows.old folder with all your data and programs and stuff inside there okay but just in case something went wrong it's always best to back that up first just in case that goes wrong so that's just going to install the features and updates now and then complete the installation So that's going to start up the services now and uh, complete the installation. So that's just preparing your computer. So it's at this stage where you'll need to put in your product key, okay? Now what's going to happen here, if you put your product key in, 
and then go next it will actually activate straight away now if you've got a pre-activated uh, key i.e. you've had a Windows 7 key from a previous machine and you've activated it already then what's going to happen is it's going to want you to go online okay and this is exactly what's going to happen once you put this in but if you've got a brand new uh, Windows 8 machine and you put the key inside here it will activate automatically as you've downgraded okay so now we've got our product key inside here what we're going to do here is click on next and this will automatically update okay as we go in so we're going to go next here so we'll just go through the motions here And it's just going to prepare your desktop here and then that should be that and then you can see we have our Windows 7 operating system now up and running and we can pull off all the files we want from our windows.old folder which will be on the system and also we should be uh, able to now update Windows and use the actual product as we wish so that's basically how you uh, downgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 7 and uh, as I said, you can always revert back to Windows 8 if you wish. But also, uh, if you've got a new machine, as I said, Windows 8, uh, Windows 8 Professional machine, and it's brand new, you can downgrade for free. But if you've got any other version of Windows 8, then you will need to uh, purchase a Windows 7 uh, product key. Okay, you can use the older version of Windows 7 product keys if you've used it already. Then you will need to activate online. Just remember those uh, rules there and also you will need to put in your drivers for Windows 7 like we covered in the beginning of the video. So that's basically it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's great to be back and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Have a great weekend and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.